So, I bought these in my local mirror market, right, for the unbelievable price of just five ninety nine. And there's what, two, looks like 12, three, oh, hang on. Yeah, I swear that, yeah, that's 12. So, two, four, six, eight, take that. There's 12 in there for five ninety nine. Um, I'm going to have these for dinner tonight, so I'll show you a really good way of getting the full use out of them and also getting a decent lunch. So, I'll be back. So, guys, as I said, these are the coffee that I bought from, or if you want to call them just meat rolls, which coffees are. Um, these are the ones I bought for Mirror Market, and as I said, they were five ninety nine. And my mistake, there are ten in here, not twelve. That was wishful thinking. Uh, so you're looking at about less than sixty pence each, um, which is, to be honest, is brilliant. So all I'm going to do is obviously I am not eating all of these tonight. So which is brilliant because. Everyone is always struggling for something to do for dinner. So all we're going to do is we're just going to freeze them down. So I'm freezing mine in twos because personally, for me, two is plenty. So you're looking at quite a good size and you can actually, obviously, you can have these by themselves. Um obviously uh have them in a wrap so i'm actually gonna have this one because i've like demolished it somehow anyway that'll teach me for cheating um yeah so basically i'm gonna continue i'm freezing mine down sorry in just normal freezer bags and again you've got oh this one amazing You've got up to three months to use them, which you will definitely use these um, within three months. So I'm going to get on with this and then we will make some wraps. So I'll see you in a minute, guys, while I carry on with this. So as I said, I'm going to do two of these coffees with, for dinner. I'm going to show you an idea that um it's quite uh well it's quite filling for me i don't know it might be not so filling for other people but it was a little bit deceiving but what it does is it gives you the option to have something else with it have one of them i'm gonna have two of the six inch tortillas so um i'm just going to show you what i'm filling with mine and what i've got is some pickled red onion that i've got um it's like a sweet pickle which is quite nice uh, some garlic lime mayonnaise uh a little bit of the old uh, sriracha nice so i don't want it too hot because um the meat um the meat rolls are actually really flavorsome so i don't really want to take away the flavor from it but i do want a little bit of heat and obviously tomatoes what I've done is I like to dry my tomatoes out because I don't like all the water dripping out of whatever I'm eating. So let's get these on first. These only, I'm going to guess around, I'm going to check them after 15 minutes, but um, I'm treating it like a sausage. So between 15, 20 minutes, depending on your air fryer, as I said. So I'm going to pop those in and let them cook away. So while they're cooking away, I actually quite like uh, my wraps heated up. Ah, stab myself with the scissors. Good start. It's up to you. This is just a way that I like to do my wraps. Um, you might find it tasty. You might think, oh, that's disgusting. So it's an idea. But this is a really quick and easy dinner to do, especially after you've bought that pack for five ninety nine. So as for me, being on my own, so pack I've split it. There's five. I've got five lots. That's five meals for me. I can do everything I want. I've put them into bags of twos. 
So I've got the option to work with them. As I say, I'm going to chop some tomatoes up. I, I, dried, I like to dry them out. Um, I just place them in tissue and let the tissue do its work. Generally, just because I do not like all that trippiness that comes out. Oh, it's so disgusting. I hate it. It ruins my sandwich sometimes. I hate it in a soggy sandwich. So, as I said, I've got those on for 20 minutes. Um, I'm literally just going to cut some tomatoes up while my pan heats up. Um, it's a bit boring. And as I said, it's up to you what you put in your wrap. This is just a really quick 20 minute dinner time idea that you can do with shopping local and using your using the shops that are around by you. As I said, I'm really, really lucky. Um, obviously we've got the arrival of the new veg shop at number 10, the little farm shed. Um, which sells uh, obviously fruit and veg, which is wonderful, but has actually now started selling fresh sausages and bacon. Um, but I've also got my the mirror market, uh, which is opposite it, uh, for all my other delicatessen things, like if I want pieces of chicken, uh, if I want um, something a little bit exotic, like say throat or something like that. Um, they just tend to have the little bits in there for, to do a normal shop. I haven't actually had to go to a supermarket at all this week. It's been amazing. And I must admit, I have done everything I can not to go to the supermarket. Um, for instance, I actually substituted the dog food this week. Um, they haven't got brown rice. They got brown pasta instead. Because the only thing I needed in the supermarket was brown rice. Uh, Mirror Market sold brown pasta. Made do. So it's just an example of just not going in there and, and giving yourself that temptation. Because it is, let's, let's be honest, it is um, a store temptation from when you walk in the door. Right, I'm going to get on with these tomatoes. Uh, as I said, I'm chopping mine up because that's how I like them. How you want to put them in your wrap is completely up to you. But I'm just showing you that how these two little meat meat sticks, kofta, sausage rolls, whatever you want to call them, um, can be so versatile. And again, for the price of them, uh, can give you the options of loads of different meals without having to eat the same thing over and over again. And give you different ideas on what to do. So, I'm gonna let that cook. Uh, I'm gonna let my pan heat up and I'll be back and we'll do some wraps together. I'll see you in a minute. Right, while your rolls are in the air fryer cooking, uh, make sure your pan's nice and hot. Uh, I've got two of the lovely six inch wraps. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you're just gonna dry fry them. I find it just makes the wrap a little bit more manageable easier to handle but don't forget you don't want to leave it too long because you don't want it burning all you want to do is warm the wrap up slightly because i have done that before i have turned my back away and the next thing you know the wraps on fire well it's pretty black but yeah you just want a little bit of heat through them not too much but yeah you see what i mean they're not very flexible at the moment and see a nice bit there. All right, what I'm doing with my wraps, as I said, is what I like. What you do with your own wraps is completely up to you. You know, a lot of you might really like garlic mayonnaise. I'm not actually an overly person on garlic mayonnaise. I don't mind it slightly, I don't mind it now and again. Me, I'm a bit of a hot sauce person, so. There we go, and that's done. All right, now those are ready, we can dress your wraps. Right, I'm just gonna give these a little check and see how they're getting on. Oh, oh they're good, let's see what temperature they're at. 
because I've not cooked these before in here, so it's a bit of an experiment for all of us. Right, so yeah, yeah. They're definitely going to need another 10 minutes. I've only got this set on 180, so, and they're cooking really, really nicely. All right, nice way of saving a little bit of time as well. I'm going to start with the mayonnaise. And I've got my trusty old spatula. Sticking a knife in a jar of mayonnaise is just not working for me. So I'm pushing back a little bit. There we are. And you can see that perfectly. So I'm going to start with the mayonnaise on the bottom. It's up to you again how much or how little that you have. I like mayonnaise, so lots of mayonnaise for me. Um, I, would all, I would use my own mayonnaise, but I actually say it's actually a little bit too rich for what I want to use it for. So, bought mayonnaise I find is a lot better for things like this. There we go. That was actually quite a good amount of mayo. All right. There we go. There we go. Um, this time, I've actually shredded my lettuce because obviously my wraps are only small little six inch things and um i don't want them to bulk out um the rack too much especially after um adding the meat the tomatoes and um the onions on top so i've what i've done is shredded the lettuce up added my seasoning and a little bit of oil which will actually um, pull the lettuce down the longer you leave it and make it look like um, well if I'm going to be honest it makes it look like um, a dead bit of um, lettuce on your plate but really it's not there we are but again up to you if you want leaves have leaves it's your wrap so that goes in there then we've got our lovely chopped tomatoes let's get another spoon for that so you just gently pour your tomatoes along the top. So they sit. You see what I mean? If um, the lettuce was a little bit, but it depends on the wrap that you're doing. But again, if you're using this size wrap and your lettuce is a little bit but it's going to take up a lot more of the space and we want that for all the other nice little things we've got uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of black pepper on top of our tomatoes there we are and now all we've got to do is wait for the meat bit so I'll be back when the meat's gone well when the timer's gone off anyway these actually took 15 minutes and this is in a saltzer air fryer so again please check your own wattage as you can hear the timer still going off so i've got that all nicely done and the best way that i have found with these and the best way to get the yield out of what you want sharp knife in half and then just half again and then the way that you layer it I'll turn that one over it's easier come here and the way you layer it uh, will be uh, filling with the rest of the things that you've got in there and will make your um, wrap a lot more bulkier and a lot more filling and enjoyable because uh, sometimes if your wraps are too big, um, you want, you sort of like end up either, oh, I can't actually finish that. So I find these are actually a really good size for having a nicely filled wrap uh, without uh, bloating myself out. Right. Oh, they do smell so good. So, all out in the wash. All right. And then the fun bit. Well, fun, but we'll be eating it, hopefully. So, as I said, I've cut them up. So, basically, oh, there we go. Cut them into fours. And if you just line them, I'll just pull you back. There you go. 
um, across the top there, see? That's quite filled. And I, so I actually find that three strips is enough in there. By the time that you've got your tomatoes and everything else in there, there we go. So, there we are. And look, I've got half left. Mmm. Really, really nice cloth. Mmm. Really, really happy with that. All right. So, I'm just going to add a little bit of hot sauce because that's me. And it's not overly hot because, as I said, I don't want to take away the flavour from the meat because it's actually got a really lovely flavour to it. Um, I've steeped, as I said, I've pickled some onions. Uh, I'm just going to drizzle a couple of them over the meat just to almost set it off. And you see what I mean, how it's starting to look quite filled already. And I've got to say, it looks really pretty. Do you like pretty food? They say you can't eat, you don't eat with your eyes. But if your food doesn't look attractive, you're not really going to eat it, are you? So, I like my food to look attractive and pretty. Um, uh, the pink is really setting it off. All right, a little bit more. Uh, as I said, this is just one idea that you can do for dinner if you are stuck with ideas so here comes the fun bit we're going to try and fold it all right uh, there we go just like a little envelope in at the sides you see what i mean about them being too filled well i'm piggy and i'm i've filled mine really badly and we're going to fold that over there we go. Ultimate oh, escape. And there you have oh, a decent size. I, right, to be honest, would fill anybody. So we're going to try again with this one and try and see if we can fold this over as well, um, as it's not going particularly good. Because again, I have filled it far too much. And I should have been really using bigger ones, but, you know, thinking you these little ones, you put less in it, but that doesn't actually work. So, there we go. This may be a little bit messy, but I tell you, I guarantee you, it will taste amazing. So, that's it. That's all left I have to show you. And they are a very decent size. So I'm going to attempt to try and eat them in one, not obviously in one whole gone. Um, and I know it's going to turn into a mess. I've made a bit of a mess at the moment. Um, I'm really happy with this product. It's got a really beautiful flavour, easy to cook um, and such a cheap meal. So I'm going to go and join me dinner guys and I really hope you join me for the next video. But seriously, if you've got a local mirror market, pop in and take a look. You will be really surprised what you find in there. And I'll see you guys later. I need to wash my hands.